Thousands of prospective students apply to the OMS CS each cohort. There are some things you absolutely need to know before you start your application. I spent a ton of time researching the OMS CS when I was evaluating CS master's degree programs. So I'd like to save you some trouble by putting all the important details into one video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my growth as a software developer. In this video, I'm gonna to touch on the most essential things to know in advance before considering your application to the OMS CS. We'll head on admissions, prep work needed to start the program both academically and mentally, and evaluating all the options available to you. First, let's talk about what the OMS is and what it isn't. Before you start considering the OMS CS or any master's degree in computer science in general, you make sure that it fits your goals and situation. What the OMS CS is. The OMS CS is the most popular and pioneering online master's degree program. It was launched in 2014 with Udacity and ATA as partners with a price tag of $7,000 in total tuition for its students. All the above still remains true today. OMS CS is a full-blown master's degree in computer science and the same diploma as the Georgia Tech in-person MS in computer science. This means it's very rigorous and it has a lot of expectations to be put on you as an enrollee. Georgia Tech is the number eight computer science school in the nation per Newsweek, and it wouldn't maintain that ranking if it was passing out watered down degrees in the OMS CS offering. The OMS CS is a 30 credit hour, 10 course requirement program with specialization track selection being mandatory. Let's talk about what the OMS CS isn't. It isn't a rehashed version of the freely available MOOC courses that accompany the OMS CS. While lectures will be the same pre-recorded videos as the free versions, you'll be assigned a live instructor and TAs for your semester. There are more rigorous assignments, projects, and exams than the free MOOC courses. The OMS CS isn't a golden ticket to a technical job. Yes, the OMS CS is a great credential that holds a lot of weight in the job market, but it doesn't offset the lack of job experience or questionable job history. OMS CS won't necessarily give you the baseline technical skills to succeed in a career jump. For example, you won't earn the basics of software development in the OMS CS. The OMS CS is designed for someone with those foundational building blocks to learn more advanced skills like robotics or machine learning. If you have a technical background and a related undergraduate degree to computer science, mathematics, or engineering, and are looking to build specific, specialized skills in the computer science field, you're the target candidate for the OMS CS. If this isn't you, but you believe that the OMS CS can get you closer to meeting your goals, then it's possible for you to apply, get in the program, graduate, and have great outcomes. Just know in advance that you may have a longer path to acceptance in the program than the majority. Next, let's talk about admission process and statistics. The admission process in the OMS CS is well-defined and concise compared to most master's degree programs you'll find out in the wild. The only real requirements are an undergraduate degree from a regionally accredited institution, and if you're an international student, you have to get a TOEFL score of 600 or more on the paper-based or 100 or more on the internet-based. That's it, no GRE requirement or professional working experience requirement. If you meet these requirements, it's feasible for you to apply and gain admission. It, however, does not mean that you'll get in automatically. The preferred candidate will have a computer science, mathematics, computer engineering, or electrical engineering undergrad degree with a 3.0 GPA or higher. As for the application itself, you'll need to provide personal information, academic history, resume, career objectives and background essay, and a statement of purpose. You'll also need to acquire letters of recommendation. Once you get admitted, in the first 12 months, you must complete foundational coursework requirement of two courses with a grade of B or better to remain within the program. On the OMS CS subreddit page, Dr. Joyner, the Executive Director of Online Education OMS CS, made a post about Fall 2021 admission statistics. The OMS CS had around 4,400 applicants just for Fall 2021 cohort. That's massive without a doubt. Also in the post, Dr. Joyner mentioned that the acceptance rates for the OMS CS vary between each cohort, but typically between 52 and 87%, but has seen the trend go higher acceptance rates as applicants are more aligned with what the program is looking for in a candidate. Next, let's talk about prerequisites. If you don't meet the preferred candidate profile of the OMS CS, there's a handful of skills you may need to require to have a favorable application in the eyes of the admissions committee for the program. Some of the skills the OMS CS will look for in a non-traditional candidate are documented evidence of knowledge in the fundamentals of programming including knowledge of multiple programming languages, object-oriented design principles such as encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism, and inheritance, data structures such as lists, stacks, queues, trees, and hash maps, and also algorithms such as AVL, MST, Dijkstra's, and dynamic programming. The key word here is documented, meaning you will want to have taken college course or taken a MOOC with a completion certificate or a boot camp that covers previously mentioned skills. 
The OMS CS does, however, recommend that if possible, you acquire these skills through a four credit class at a community college, other online universities, or courses delivered via university affiliated extension schools, because it's hard to validate the rigor of a MOOC course or a boot camp. Next, let's touch on mental preparation. We just touched on the academic preparation required to be successfully admitted into the OMS CS. But I wanna to touch on something equally important before considering an application. That is the mental aspect of preparing for a difficult online master's degree like computer science. Although the program does have a high acceptance rate, it has a high churn rate. In an article written by Dr. Galil, the previous dean of Georgia Tech College of Computing and the man responsible for coming up with the idea of the OMS CS with Udacity, on any given semester, 15 to 20% of students may drop out. For the students who started in the years 2014 and 2017, only 60.5% have graduated or are still enrolled in the program as of spring 2019 term. Link of the article in the description for reference. The high churn rate for the program is likely due to the following reasons. The student wasn't mentally prepared to take on such a rigorous and difficult degree program and mistakenly took it for a set of typical MOOC style classes with a diploma slapped on the end. Second, the student's learning style or self-discipline isn't conducive to the OMS CS. The program is for most part self-paced, meaning that it's on you to pick a time to sit down and watch lectures, do homework and projects, and turn things in on time. While there are due dates and structure around course outlines, it's largely on the student to self-manage and get things done. Not only do you need the discipline component, you need to enjoy problem solving and searching for solutions. Courses will give you the foundations, but will not hand everything to you on a silver platter. You'll need to be comfortable with looking for solutions outside of class, attending virtual office hours, or asking questions on Slack to survive a program like the OMS CS. If you lack the discipline or self-drive, the OMS CS will likely chew you up and spit you out, unless you are extremely gifted. You're signing up for a major time commitment for two or more years of your life, and there will be sacrifices you'll need to make in order to succeed in the OMS CS. Students that go in the program thinking it'll be easy and not a big commitment are the ones that add to the dropout statistics. Now let's talk about the OMS CS and the competition. Around five years ago, the OMS CS was the only MOOC style online master's degree in computer science available on the market. While it still remains the most popular choice, it isn't the only option for someone looking to pursue a technical online master's degree. In computer science alone, there are other MOOC offerings like the Illinois MCS and the Arizona State MCS on Coursera. Penn also offers a Master's of Computer and Information Technology on Coursera. I've made a couple videos on how to evaluate the best program for you, but in general, the course catalog and specialization tracks are the most important components to consider. Before applying to the OMSCS, make sure that it'll actually help you achieve your learning goals and objectives. It's possible that with the influx of new programs on the market, there's another program that is better suited for you. The OMS CS is an amazing program and excellent value to any student looking to apply. Armed with the right knowledge and preparation, you can have a successful admission process and with the right dedication, a master's degree in computer science from the prestigious Georgia Tech College of Computing. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling into an online CS mastery program, check out my short playlist on the process. See you in there.